Hey team, welcome to this week's hot topic. We're going to be talking about structure and routine. We all need it. I'm going to dive a little deeper into time management and how not to procrastinate. So grab your pen and your paper and let's go. Structure and routine. Being specific is going to be your number one key takeaway on this, okay? So it's the same as setting a goal. Don't be vague in what you're looking for or what you're trying to achieve, regardless what that is, and especially when you need some structure and some sort of routine in your life. Be specific. Where do you need it? And where are you lacking in this particular point? So for example, is, is it something to do with your sport and your hobbies? Or is it a little bit more to do with your professional life? So be very, very specific when you write down exactly where in your life that you need structure and maybe a little bit more routine. And go ahead and do that now. I want you to focus also on your behavior. When in the day are you feeling maybe that you start to procrastinate? When in the day do you feel you would like to have a bit more structure? It will probably already pop up by just listening to what I'm saying right now. I'm a morning person. I like to get up, I feel that I'm very productive in the morning. And in the afternoon, I prefer to relax a little bit more. But if I haven't had any structure in the morning, I don't seem to enjoy the afternoon or the evening as much. So therefore, why not put a bit of structure in my morning, a bit of routine. So I want to put the main things that I need to get done in the morning. Maybe you're a little similar. And if you're not, just move that to the afternoon. Okay? So focus on your behavior. When are you the most productive? You. Write that down. Are you a morning person or are you an afternoon person? Choose whatever part of the day that is. And that's where we're going to find some structure for you. Setting in a class signing up to a class, or even just popping in a time management box. And that's what I'm gonna to talk to you about right now. 30 minute time management boxes. These are fantastic and I use them every single day. 30 minutes is a box that you're going to create in either the morning or the afternoon. Whatever you chose is good for you. I'm gonna go with me just as an example. I like to study in the morning for 30 minutes, I turn everything off. You're gonna turn your phone off. So uninterrupted 30 minute time box. You can write that one down too. And I'd highlight that if I was you. No phone, nothing is open on your computer. If you're writing on your computer, have one window open only. Turn your notifications off because this is all stealing time from you. Whether it be 10 seconds, if you add up those 10 seconds, and your concentration, you've lost almost maybe five to 10 minutes of your 30 minute box. So turn off all your notifications on your phone and on your computer, and that's really focused for 30 minutes. Now after 30 minutes, you can reevaluate what you just did, and maybe do you need to add some more time to that? Does it need to be another 30 minute block? And that's totally up to you. But at least you got the most out of the first 30 minutes. You can apply time management 30 minute boxes to anything in your life. As long as it's uninterrupted and that you can really focus on that particular topic, I will tell you right now, it's a fantastic feeling and you feel that you accomplish something. Make sure you put it in the part of the day that works best for you, that you can concentrate the most. Moving down with setting some rules. Now this is important because there are going to be days where, as we always talk about, you're not going to feel that motivated but you need to be dedicated and you need to show up for yourself. So setting those rules are, for example, let's go to sport and house. Three days a week, I would like to do sport. Now, that's a rule that you need to set, not only because you enjoy it, but because it's good for your body, for your mind, and for your entire life. You become a better person when you show up for yourself, especially when you want to move a little bit. So set some rules in your life and they're set by you. If you struggle to turn up and not feel bad or maybe feel bad, being accountable to somebody else is gonna help you with those rules. 
So don't be afraid to say to somebody else, do you want to turn up with me? Let's do this class together. Maybe those things are going to help you. Not everybody needs it, but some of us do. I know that I do, and it's not a bad thing. So start with one or two rules, and then as you start to accomplish that and start to show up on a regular basis, I want you to challenge yourself, and I want you to add another rule, and then another one. So I want you to start off with one or two, and over a period of weeks, I want you to add one or two when you start to see that you're accomplishing that and that you're actually showing up. Procrastination. This is something that we all do. Don't feel bad about it, and don't judge yourself on it. But let's use this. Let's set some structure and some routine. Why do we procrastinate? If there is something that you are supposed to be doing, or that you've set a time box for, but you still don't show up and you find every other thing to do rather than that particular thing, how about you step back and reset? If it's a particular goal that you're just not showing up for yourself for anymore, maybe it's time to reset that goal. It's totally fine that we change our goals. But the reason you're going to be procrastinating is probably because that particular goal doesn't really belong to you anymore, or doesn't realign or align with who you are as a person. It should identify to you, and therefore you want to procrastinate because you want to achieve it, all right? Identify important daily achievements. This is key. Give yourself some credit. Be kind to yourself. If you make that 30 minute, how do you feel? You probably feel really good. I want you to acknowledge that. I hope this gives you a little bit of structure and some routine. So set one week. I want you to go away from this and I want you to structure one week and I want you to write in me time in 30 minute blocks somewhere throughout the week. Hope you enjoy it. Make sure that you don't miss any of our videos by clicking subscribe. Give me a thumbs up and feel free to leave a comment below. But stay tuned because next week I'm going to be talking all about how to deal with change.